All right, so I'm going to be explaining online poker ranges and how you can use this information to drastically improve your poker game. Now, as we get into this topic, I'm going to be breaking out a couple hands here in Ignition Poker, playing some one to no limit. And of course, if you guys are looking for a good online poker sites, we'll have some bonus sign up and resource links in both the description and comments. Okay, so what are poker ranges? So a range is a collection of all the possible hands a player can have right at this moment. Ranges exist both pre-flop and post-flop and can vary widely since tight players will have fewer hands in their range and looser players will have many starting hands in their range. Now, the ability to identify and read poker ranges is one of the most important skills a player can have. And I'm going to break down a situation here with pocket sixes where putting this player on a range of what he could have possibly had helped me profit, right? So, that's really what you want to get good at, guys. I mean, when you start to move up in stakes playing online poker, you know, the micro stake games are basically a joke. Then you start to move up to like the mid stake games. And I really consider mid stake 200 no limit, which is what I'm playing right here. You know, the players do get better. I'm not going to say they're the greatest players in the world, but, you know, the more you put into this and you start understanding, like, all the little intricacies of, uh, you know, bluffing people, putting people on ranges, and just going with your poker instincts sometimes can just really help you win. Um, and this was just a situation where, you know, I had a little bit of my poker range ability, a little bit of my poker instincts. And, uh, you know, we saw a re-raise here to, um, you know, a three bet with pocket sixes. So, you know, in this situation, player five was repping a big hand, right? He was saying, I've got aces, kings, queens, possibly an ace king or an ace queen type of hand. Uh, and our pocket six is on this flop, you know, with a big bet, this could have been an easy fold, but I decided to make a call. I believe it was like a $26 raise. You know, the board wasn't the greatest. So I figured maybe this guy could be, you know, bluffing at it, you know, with a couple of high cards, it's possible. Um, and, uh, yeah, I decided to make a call, right. To see a turn card. Now the turn card it didn't really help me at all. Uh, it was close to me getting that six. I'm not going to lie, but it did It did kind of apply a little bit of pressure to player five to make him think about what I had. So, you know, it, it really just went with me and player five heads up here. And, uh, and yeah. Now, I'll tell you what. I would have had a big decision to make after this if this guy decided to just shove all in because it would have been likely he had a high pocket pair like aces or kings, something along those lines. But I made the call here. We saw a turn card, which was a five. So we just missed our six. I mean, I wish to God we could hit our six right there. That would have been awesome. But at the same time, you know, this is where I had to make up my decision, right? Do I want to risk my whole stack with pocket sixes if he, you know, bets huge here, goes all in, something along those lines. And what was super interesting was he checked it. So checking it did a couple things for me. It told me that maybe this guy has absolutely nothing, maybe a couple of high cards, you know, like an ace king or ace queen. Maybe he does have a pocket pair, but he's scared for some reason. Maybe he's just playing it really weak. Whatever the reason was right here, um, you know, the check was super weak in my eyes, you know, especially with this board. You know, you've got uh, a, a queen jack straight draw, I guess. Maybe you're up against a pair of 10s, like an ace 10. Maybe somebody hit whatever the reason here is. Um, the check was just super weak. And now I was able to put him on a range of what he could have had, right? So I was kind of like putting the pieces of this puzzle together on this hand um, and, you know, getting it to the river card here. We had a low card. I believe a deuce is gonna is gonna hit maybe like a two or a three. I forget what comes on the river. We'll find out in a second. But it was a safe card, right? And it made me think maybe my pocket sixes are good here. Oh right, yeah, so it was a deuce. And uh yeah, I I mean once again, if this guy tried to put in a big bet at this point, I would have had a couple decisions to make. Like, do I want to call uh, an all-in with pocket sixes? Is he repping something big still? Was he just kind of slow playing the aces or kings on that turn? But that turn uh, check was just super weak in my eyes. And it really made me think that, you know, it was very likely at a hand like ace king or ace queen, something along those lines. And uh, yeah, and you're going to find out in a second what happened. But I'll tell you what, just to kind of recap on this, you know, when you're playing a lot of online poker or poker, 
And, you know, you're starting uh, to pick up on how people play pre-flop, how they play post-flop, uh, by the way they raise, act, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, putting people on a range, it's just like one of the skills that you need to have to really excel. And you can see I was able to win with pocket sixes on that hand. And, you know, it was, uh, it was a good win. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Smash like button if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel for more poker content. And we'll see you in the next session.